Recently, we got this comment on one of our videos, and we thought, why not? But then we weren't sure which questions to cover out of this sea of questions digital marketers get asked in an interview. So we quickly went to the placement head at IID, who has years of experience in placing our digital marketing students, and our placement team is constantly in touch with HR managers and recruiters of big brands and agencies. So the questions that we are going to cover in today's video come directly from people who are actually hiring digital marketers. And FYI, these are some limited number of questions, but. They are very important because data reveals that these questions are on the top of the list that digital marketers ask to any candidate. Hi, my name is Jay Dattani, and stay till the end of this video to put an end to your job hunt. For starters, let's discuss few general interview questions that you are going to get asked, irrespective of the job role you will apply for. Your first question can be. Why did you apply at a XYZ company or a particular agency? This seems like your girlfriend, boyfriend, or spouse asking you, "Why do you love me?" But such kind of questions are very important, and they are surely going to be part of your interview. You can answer this by saying, "I was researching on LinkedIn and I came across the opportunity at your brand or your agency." And when I was going through your website and social media presence, I kind of felt a connect with your company culture and the kind of work you do. To be precise, I really liked the XYZ campaign that you did recently, and I enjoyed it not just as an individual but also as a marketer. So I would like to contribute to more such kind of work. Now something around this can be your ideal answer, but don't bluff. Actually, do some research before you go for any kind of interview. Your next question can be, why do you want to make a career in digital marketing? This one is kind of easy, right? You can talk about how everything today is online, what is the future of digital marketing, and so on and so forth. But if this answer is easy for you to guess, it's going to be as easy for other candidates too. So you have to make sure you answer it in a bit different way. And numbers are a great way to do it. You can share some stats. Something like 56 percentage of businesses today are modifying their business model to capitalize on digital opportunities, and many businesses today are completely online. So the scope of digital marketing is surely bright, and the skill set which I possess matches the requirements of a digital marketer, which makes digital marketing a perfect career opportunity for me. But don't spend too much time explaining this. Rather, focus upon what type of skills you have, which are required for this digital world, and how your skill set and experience can help the company grow. So let's say you're witty and spontaneous, and you've applied for a creative role. So you can explain the company how this will help you create better and creative type of content for them. Or if you have applied for a paid media role, you can talk about your problem solving skills. This way, you will not just answer why you want to make a career in digital marketing. Rather, you will showcase your skills that are relevant and your strengths, which are super efficient for making a career in digital marketing. Now it's time to look for some profile specific questions that you will get in any interview. Your next question can be, how should you choose keywords? This question will surely be a part of your SEO or a paid media role interview. So be well prepared before you go for the interview. Here you can answer this by saying how you will use some basic tools like keywords everywhere and keywords planner, and also explain the basic process of using them, and also explain some basic requirements of a keyword research plan. Like focusing on long tail keywords, checking the search volume, and even checking the competition, and giving relevant examples while explaining each of these points. And if it's an SEO interview, our next question is going to be there without a doubt, which is how much time do you think SEO take? If you know SEO, you know that answering this question is like dealing with a time bomb. Well, I'm exaggerating, but you have to be very careful while answering this question. You can answer this question by saying that if you are targeting low competition keywords, you can start seeing the results of SEO within four to six months. But if you are focusing on high competition keywords, it might even take longer, at times even a couple of years, to see the expected results. Before I move ahead with the next few questions, if you are enjoying this video or learning something new, do hit the like button so it can reach other people who are looking for digital marketing interview questions. The next question that you can expect is 
what is an ideal approach for a pay per click campaign again answering this question would require you to do some homework you can answer this by saying an ideal approach for a pay per click campaign can be adding more pay per click keywords to expand the reach splitting down the ads into smaller ad groups to increase the ctr reviewing your non performing pay per click keywords or even improving your landing pages as per the individual search query you can also talk about adding few negative keywords and how you can improve the relevancy of the campaigns again if possible try to explain each of these strategies using some examples or you might even get a detailed question on any of these strategies and now it's time to discuss some questions that you might get asked if you are applying for some creative role at a company or a agency your question can be what type of content do you consume on social media and why Yo you, you can answer by describing a particular campaign that you have worked on or you can even explain any one of the campaigns that you found on internet very interesting and appealing then you can give some details about why exactly you like that campaign was it the information or the design of that campaign that caught your eye be clear and aware of what exactly is happening in the digital space is the key to crack this question because as a social media marketer this is one of your most required skill set and after you have answered this question you may even get a new question like what are engagement reach and impressions according to you now this is a very easy and common question so make sure you brush up for all the basics and other such concepts before you go for an interview and explain them using relevant examples one more question that you can expect in your interview is how would you deal with negative comments on the brand's social media account you can simply answer this by saying we can acknowledge the problem empathize with user and ask for more details by telling them to dm us and also commit a timeline and a time frame by when will the issue be resolved and after the issue has been resolved you can encourage the user to leave a fresh comment saying the issue has been resolved and that's all the questions and answers that we can cover in today's video but preparing just for this questions is not enough as recruiters and hrs prefer candidates who are up to date with everything happening in digital world and also have knowledge beyond their own expertise so do subscribe to our channel if you want to keep yourself updated and upgraded for everything happening around digital marketing till then all the best for your interview